When is alt season gonna start? One of the most asked questions in the DMs at the moment. I'm gonna give you the answer now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, this Bitcoin world. Welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today's video, short but powerful because I'm really busy today. Yes, I will give you news item about Micah Saylor and also about the altcoin season. Yes, also looking into the Bitcoin chart, short but powerful and giving you an inspirational quote, trying to make it as short as possible because I really have a lot of things to do today. Now, let's quickly jump into that first part, the news. The first part of the news is, again, something about Michael Saylor. He now tweeted, sorry guys, I am for Bitcoin self-custody. Maybe he might made a mistake, and he's not like tweeting it like that, but he's just admitting he was completely fucked up wrong with whatever he said in that interview, and he completely forgot that yes, Bitcoin anarchists are the ones that created Bitcoin, and it created Bitcoin as an opposite against all those centralized systems like the banks, and he uh, now is like crawling back and like, no, 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 may, I, maybe they may, misunderstood me, I, I, I mean it like this, but I do like that banks also give um, a sort of custodial service to the people for Bitcoin, so now he's like crawling back to become a Bitcoiner again. But guys, let's be very honest. Once you show your true colors, they're out. And Michael, you showed your true colors, yes, you love Bitcoin because it saved your company. Yes, you love Bitcoin because it made you more US dollars or euros, whatever it is. Yes, you love Bitcoin because it filled your normal bank accounts again. Yes, you don't love Bitcoin because you understand the fundamentals, etc. why Bitcoin even exists and why it is a peer-to-peer -peer system. You to me, Michael, or me to you, Michael, not your bank to my bank, or your third party to my third party, your custodial service to my custodial service. That is not the intention of Bitcoin. We already have those shit coins. We call them euros and dollars. They use intermediaries. We don't need to use intermediaries because we have Bitcoin. That is the Bitcoin mentality. I can send you Bitcoin, Michael, wherever you are in the world, within a couple of seconds, feel as almost and nobody will ever be able to stop me from sending it to you wherever you am wherever I am that is Bitcoin not please bank can I send some Bitcoin or please bank can I buy some Bitcoin or please my bank or please my BlackRock can you send some Bitcoin to that person that is not Bitcoin so that was the first news item second news item when will altcoin season begin guys Altcoin season is probably going to begin when Bitcoin reaches a price of around 80,000 US dollar. So that's a price surge around 18% from 67 where we are now to 80k. Why do I say 80,000 US dollar? Because probably at that moment the Bitcoin dominance will be between 62 and 70%. And whenever the Bitcoin dominance goes in between those levels, that's mostly when the altcoin season picks up. At the moment, the Bitcoin dominance is around 59%, so which means it represents 59% of the complete capital in cryptocurrency. The moment Bitcoin goes to 62, 63, 65, 70 area, that is mostly when the dominance becomes too high and when the altcoins start to take over. So if you ask me when the altcoin season is gonna begin, I'm just telling you, watch the king just take a look at bitcoin the king i know you love the altcoins i know it's beautiful but bitcoin is leading bitcoin is king when the bitcoin dominance gets too high that is the moment altcoin season could start but let me also be very clear in this the 2017 altcoin season was an altcoin season where there were not that many altcoins in 2021, there were again a double or triple amount of altcoins. Now, the 2024-5 altcoin season, there's almost 100 times as much altcoins as there were in 2017. So, please understand that everyone in the world just has one bag with money. Just see it like that, very simple, a bag of money. And they're able to invest that bag of money in some cryptocurrencies. A part goes into Bitcoin, a part goes into Ethereum, a part goes into other layer one altcoins, a part goes into meme coins and NFTs. But the more coins, NFTs and meme coins there will be, the more those bags need to be spread among all of these tokens, the less power a single altcoin will have. Because altcoins need a lot of liquidity to pump. And if that liquidity is shared, it starts to rain now, 
between a lot of projects, then of course those pumps can't exist anymore. So please be aware of that. But keep an eye on Bitcoin. Then Bitcoin goes to dominance of 60 to 70 percent. That is when the altcoins probably start to run. Those altcoins that still have a huge community or those ones that are unexpected meme coins that just pump as hell without any reason. Now, that was my answer in the news. Now let's quickly jump into the charts. I can go inside because it starts to rain and show you what is happening to Bitcoin today because Bitcoin is king and it's way more important than all the altcoins combined, guys. Now, bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. On the four hour chart, you can see we again are playing out the way I told you guys. Yes, a wick through this yellow line and I told you we would go up. My target still is 72,000 US dollar. I want to break the 70K. This is not, not, not like tomorrow or the day after. It can take one week or two weeks, but this is the target that we are going to hunt for. The next resistance is at this blue box that we are now hitting, guys. This is the resistance. So yes, if you're in a trade and there will be a sell signal, it's a short-term trade. You need to be taking your profits. The green just got started. The red line is taking over of the green line on top over there on the bottom. You can see that over here. That is where the red line is now taking over. The green starts to go flat at the moment. So here the green line, the blue line is crossing the green line down. So that means the market is not as bullish as it was during the pump, but it doesn't mean you need to sell yet. You know, we can still wait and be in profit, maybe break this area of resistance to touch that 70K, a little bit higher than this wick over there. So that we at least get a higher high on this uh, on this chart, guys. And then see, let's see where it goes. There is no rush for me. The rush is going to be in 2025, all the way above 100K. The Gaussian channel, we've been talking about it also a very long time. I told you, I guided you through the whole Gaussian channel. Please don't forget that. I told you we get sucked into it. We will get sucked to the midline. If we break that, I told you we could get sucked even to the bottom. Luckily, we found support over there. We found resistance. Yeah, we couldn't break out. We retested this downward trend line. You remember all those videos? And now we broke out and we are closing two candles already above that Gaussian channel two five-day candles above the channel, which of course is amazing. This one, the last one, a huge wick to the bottom. Hopefully this is gonna close in one day in 23 hours around the level of 67 or even higher, maybe 68K, then it's a tiny body, large wick. There's a lot of upward movement for Bitcoin in the next five-day candle, guys. Um, at the moment, I'm also looking into this one do your own research yeah that's what i always say but this one is called dior it's going to be fighting the dex tools tool that uh, a lot of you use for all the altcoins but i believe this one is going to be better i'm going to invest in this one but i always do your own research guys but this one has crazy cool functions i come back to that later in another video where i will walk you through what all the possibilities are in this platform guys now let's jump into some more amazing charts these ones over here guys these are very important charts this is the Bitcoin halving cycle. Now I'm gonna to try to talk as slow as possible to make it as clear as possible. The halving, the first one, when it started, it started at like, let's say 10 cents. We ended that had the next halving at $12, okay? Then the next halving started at that $12, that four year cycle that ended at the halving, next halving of $665. So from 12 to $665. Then the next halving went, of course, from that $665, and it ended four years later at the next halving at $8,700. Do you understand what I'm saying? A couple of cents to $12, $12 to $600, $600 to $8,700, $8,700 to 63,500 US dollar. That was the halving that we saw in April this year. Now, the new halving beginning is 63,500 dollar. What will be the next halving price in 2028? Do you see what I see? A couple of cents to 12, 12 to 600, 600 to 8,000, 8,000 to 60,000, 60,000 to? Let me know in the comments 
what you think the next halving price in 2028 will be. I will be giving away randomly a couple of Bitcoin t-shirts to people that comment what they expect the Bitcoin halving price in 2028 will be. Now, let's jump into the next one. This chart also very important. This chart is uh, zooming out to the max. This is showing you candles uh, of every epoch, so that's every four year cycle candle just to show you where we are at the moment in this four year cycle candle. The first one was a short one that was from 2010 to 2012 guys. We opened at five cents and we closed at $12. Now that second one that was the first four year cycle that was from 2012 to 2016. We opened at $12. We closed at $650. That was a 5,146% profit in four years time. Then the third candle, guys, that's another four-year cycle from 2016 to 2020. We opened at $650. We closed at $8,000. That was a 1,223% profit uh, that you could have taken on the top, of course. We need to look at 20K. That was the top. So that is the profit you could have taken of that one. Now, then now the last one, that was 2020 to 2024, April, the halving moment. We opened at 8K. We closed at 64K, we already had a high of 70K. So at the moment we have like a 658% four year cycle result uh, in those last four years, 2022, 2024. Now, in April this year, that new halving cycle started in April, 2024, and it will end around April, 2028. For now, we have only made 5%. So, we opened at 64K, we had a high of 71K, uh, and the closing at the moment would be 68K-ish, but that's not important. This is a four-year candle. This candle is going to end in 2028. If you believe that this 5% could be 300% within today and 2028, would mean that the Bitcoin price would go times three at least, that would mean the Bitcoin top of this candle could be 180K between now and 2028. If you believe that, then that's already a reason for you to invest in Bitcoin because you're tripling your capital in the next couple of years. If you don't believe that, maybe you should not be investing in Bitcoin. Other people believe that the Bitcoin price within now, 2024 and 2030, could also go to a million dollars per Bitcoin which would mean that the 5% would be turning into 1500% in the next two cycles. Just understand this, how big the profits were in those first couple of four-year halving cycles. More than 5,000%, more than 1,000%, more than 600%. If this one is only going to be more than 300%, I would already be happy. Just understand how this chart works. If you don't understand how this chart works, then pause the video and analyze it a little bit more. Now, let's jump into the last part of the video. I hope you really enjoyed the Bitcoin charts. Short term, amazing volatility, amazing trading setups. Yes, the Bitcoin family indicator setup will be helping you. And to get access to that indicator setup, you need to become part of the ddbambam.me group. That's the VIP group. If you become part of the VIPs, you will also get access to those indicator setups, guys. Also to the VIP signal group, also the VIP group just on Telegram where we can uh, chat about really cool stuff where I share charts, everything, every day. Also the Telegram mini app that's in the development. And now we even have a really cool cool thing going on you can win some nfts on ddbambam.me nfts if you now go to our telegram group you can see all the rules all to the website you will find there is a halloween giveaway in nfts you just need to repost one of our social posts and then sign up for that giveaway by giving us the link to that post and then you will be able to win one of the Didi Bam Bam halloween nfts that's the first one of a very big series of nfts that is going to come just to appreciate you being part of the family guys that's all it's not to make you rich it's not to make you be able to buy villas or lamborghinis it's just our token of appreciations you become part of something and we incentivize that by sometimes doing cool giveaways with cool nfts very exclusive ones now but aside of that guys i hope you really enjoyed the charts and zooming out is the best thing you can do at the moment we are in that part that we are just up front of those 12 months very very bullish months of the bull market cycle 
and after that we will have a bear market. But this moment you can still get in, double your capital at least in my opinion, take your profits, let the market crash and buy back again at the bear market bottom. That is what you should be doing as an investor now. So that's the only thing I need to say about the charts. You need to zoom out, look at the bigger picture. And while you're zooming out and waiting for your capital to grow, you zoom in at life and you try to enjoy every single minute of the day. And that is why I again have a beautiful inspirational quote for today. Let's jump into that one, bam. For the inspirational quote, I again have a very popular Thai quote. And the Thai quote that is, I can't pronounce it in Thai, uh, but I can say Sawadi Kap, Kapun Kap, but I can't say those quotes. But the quote is, sometimes burning a bridge is the only way to get to the other side. I find it a really deep but also powerful quote. Because sometimes you need to burn bridges to force yourself to find a way to the other side. And that's exactly what the quote is saying. I needed to burn all my bridges to get where I am now. And yes, believe me, when I was doubting about selling my house, selling my company, selling my car, selling everything we own, I wanted to keep those bridges intact. I wanted to be able to, if I jump into this new life, to still have a foot on the other side of the bridge, to be able to walk back across that bridge, back to that safe life that I built for myself in those you know, years of a company running guy. Those years of building up everything that we owned felt a safe haven. And then when you cross that bridge to somewhere else, a new location, a new life, you mostly want to keep those bridges intact. You want to be able to turn back across that same bridge. And that's why most people don't sell their house and rent out their house or when most people just don't fully go for something but always keep one foot on the other side of that river and that's exactly the wrong thing to do in my opinion the only reason why our story became successful is because we sold the house we sold the cars we sold everything we owned from that moment we jumped into thailand and we completely burnt that bridge we could never go back to that moment of owning all that stuff anymore. We burned the bridge to our old life and we flew over to the bridge to build a new life. And that new life, that life was based on our gut feeling, on going with the flow, not running the hamster wheel without thinking what is good for yourself or for your wife or for your children or for your dog or for whatever it is that lives with you, not that way but just starting to flow in a direction that your everything inside of you tells you to go. Just listening to that gut feeling, listening to that inside voice that tells you, you should be traveling, you should explore the world. That voice that we started to follow brought us to this success. And the only reason we could start to flow that way is by burning all those bridges to the past. There shouldn't be any possibility to turn back because if the possibility is there, you won't be able to completely flow into this new future. And I know maybe this sounds a little bit flowy for a lot of people, but it is the truth in my opinion. Just look to all the situations in your life. If you don't burn those bridges to the old part of your life, you won't be able to continue fully and fully passionate go for that new part of your life because you're always like, ah, yeah, let's just try, but if it doesn't succeed, oh, we can always turn back. Burn that bridge. That if you want to turn back, you need to find a very creative way to go back. And even that might lead to a beautiful new path again. So that's a very powerful quote. Sometimes burning a bridge is the only way to get to the other side. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about the news? What do you think about the charts? And what do you think about burning of the bridges? And please, 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 don't go now and physically burn bridges in Venlo between Venlo and Blerik or whatever bridge there is in Rotterdam. Not like physical burning bridges. People, I'm talking about those bridges in your mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> not those bridges in the world. Don't burn physical bridges, <laughs> just to be sure. A disclaimer. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I wish you an amazing Friday, an amazing weekend. I will do a live on Saturday and on Sunday. Saturday is a Dutch live, Sunday probably an English live. In the morning, Amsterdam time, guys. Uh, if the rest, I just can only say I wish you an amazing weekend. I'm going to go and do a really beautiful Friday. I will make some of my videos on my Instagram and you can see them over there, guys. What I'm doing today, but thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing weekend. See you tomorrow again. Bam.